Hi and welcome to this week's video. In this week's video I make some progress on the upper cowl. So uh, see what I get up to. Come on let's get cracking. Okay before I uh, fit this plastic sheet back onto the cowling so I can uh, do the initial layup uh, I need to have some sort of release agent on this plastic so I'm literally just using good quality wax polish and uh, might be soft but just applying that to the whole surface I'll let this uh, this layer dry I'll give it a bit of a buff and then I'll put another coat over the top which uh, should be sufficient to allow me to lay up on it and it to uh, to fully release. So I just need to make sure I've got a good coating on. It doesn't have to be polished to a high shine or anything like that uh, for this particular application. If I was wanting to have something that's finished out of a mould, then I'd have it polished. But uh, in this case, I'm not going to get a super smooth finish anyway so uh, I'd rather have the wax coating on there uh, so I get a good release so I'm going to let this cure off and dry off I'll give it another coat and uh, then I'll screw it back onto the uh, onto the cowl and uh, do the first layup <clears throat> so you've uh, just seen a bit of time lapse of me uh, laying up the chop strand you might note that there wasn't any sharp cut scissor lines it was actually torn out so it actually lays out better uh, except for the bit that was actually on the inlay inside there that was sort of semi cut but the outer the, the upper surface uh, was uh, torn I used uh, 200 uh, gram uh, chop strand mat uh, for this at the moment and you probably saw me tamping around with a piece of tissue just picking up some of the excess there's still a little bit of excess resin down there but it's minor it's out of the way that's going to be sanded back slightly the next section will be take the screws out around here and there'll be a cloth twill uh, covering going around there and along the back edge and along this one side where the uh, where the edge is thin and uh, around the the cowl entrance but I'm going to have to let it cool down a little bit at the moment because I'm using a minimum accelerator uh, to try and keep the, uh, the, the cure speed down to something sensible um, so this this needs to uh, to cure off enough for me to be able to just sand just the very edge here just to make sure I've got no tapers and remove the lumps which are sticking up around the screws and then I can lay in the cloth and we go from there okay so there's the plastic off uh, there, there's some slight voids around the edge here but that's minor stuff that can be dealt with with filler so there's my uh, my cloth I've had to put an overlap joint in because I haven't quite got enough to go the right width in this particular level of cloth uh, other areas I'm, I'll probably use some of my carbon fibre twill uh, this is uh, 350 uh, twill I've got uh, the overlap is about an inch wide uh, a little tip when you one is it to, to uh, if you want to make a rectangular patch and you want it to mark it out you can actually just grab one of the, 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 the fibers and things and you can pull that fiber through and that gives you a mark so you can get a nice rectangular patch 
but if you're going to cut out curves or something like that uh, then we'll, we'll actually do that with plastic or uh, peel ply cut around it put it in place and, and, and you, you can after it's been wetted out but I'll show you that for the the front end I'm just going to lay this bit up <coughs> and you'll see what it looks like uh, after it's all been done I've put uh, tapes, glass fibre tapes down each side along here. This maybe this most of this section here will be cut out for the cylinders, and I've done the tape all the way across here. It needs to be sanded smooth. It's got, got a little bit of a, a little bit of a feathery edge, uh, a bit of an edge just just lifted very slightly. Uh, so I need to deal with that. Uh, trim this a lot across, and. Uh, That'll be uh, that sort of uh, my helpers having a little look around life. Uh, so next bit is to just get rid of any loose fiberglass uh, we've got around the front end here, sand it, and uh, light sanding on the new, and then I can put in uh, the carbon fiber uh, doily over there. I'll then start trimming all this little lot back uh, to get everything to uh, to fit in line with the top here and then we can start getting a bit of a play going along the edges and uh, we're making progress you probably see that's a sort of a line up here all I used to do get the line is I used a lollipop stick stuck it on there pencil up the side just all the way up all the way up. you sort of see it might you might be able to sort of see a dotted line to one side that was going off this little this being the, the the widest point but on the other side the the corner over here is is out of position so uh, uh, that's the width I've got so that's how much I'm going to trim off is that that line there it's my it'll bring this back by uh, the width of the the the, uh, the lollipop stick which is puts that in just about the right place for the prop drive although looking at the front of this it's got a slight tilt outwards uh, I'm not sure uh, how easy that's going to be to correct but uh, we'll find out at some stage in the near future uh, so the next bit is I'm just going to put the carbon loop uh, ring into there so I'll show you my methodology uh, for uh, squeegeeing and cutting the carbon so we don't end up with uh, you know, st stray fibres or too many stray fibres out and about. And you can sort of see that the line going across the top decking there is flat from there all the way down to there uh, it's pretty close so I'm happy with that uh, that line up at the moment. Okay, so I've got some uh, resin mixed up, uh, which will do the job quite nicely. I'll take my brush, I'm just going to paint the inside of the uh, the cowl where that's going to go, where the, the section's going to go. But um, I'm going to now spread some out on here. This will help to. Uh, stick my carbon in position quite nicely I'll, uh, I'll wet that out
and then I'll stick my second piece of carbon on I'll well, whip that out Put this piece on top. I'll roll everything through. This will make sure everything's absolutely wetted out so there is no, uh, no areas that are dry of resin. Uh, I don't want to have any dry areas particularly but also it gets rid of the majority of the excess resin I'll just squeeze that out the end there and now it says uh, grab the scissors cut around on the mark that I've put on the uh, on this plastic nice and easy to cut nice clean cut edge there I can peel that off and I can just lay that straight down onto the wetted area the resin in the glass uh, in the uh, carbon is uh, sufficient I've already wetted the surface of the, uh, the moulding I'm going to just press that out just to make sure and I'll, I can leave this plastic sheet on it'll peel off as a peel ply and there we have the carbon section in place. I can, uh, don't take much for me to clean up my tools. Job to do, job done. So there, there's the uh, the carbon yeah, as, it, as it's been formed. It's really quite rigid and uh, There it is actually on the uh, on the front there so I can now just cut that bit off uh, there so it goes back around the prop drive and uh, start cutting this rear edge uh, down uh, which will be uh, in the next video I'm going to do that and uh, sort out these uh, holes which I drilled to put the plastic sheet on so all this is going to be sort of uh, bits are going to be sorted out and then I'm also hoping in the next video to uh, do the cutout uh, here for the uh, dipstick and uh, to get the whole cow trimmed and, the, and a straight line going down the edge then I can uh, we'll see how we get on but uh, it will be initially uh, on to the, the lower cowl to see how that fits up and we'll make a plan from there depending on how things go so catch you in the next one look after yourselves thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up you can subscribe or even hit the little bell notification for future videos any comments would be appreciated and i'll try to get back to you as soon as i can remember go fly and feel the sky